Uh, so in your process, is it that, like, how do you develop the internal in, uh, vision for the shoot? Is it like you uh, do that in advance and then? Um, I think there's always an element of unknown in a shoot, especially because you are working with other individuals. And of course, the weather can change that day and someone could be sick or not feeling so well. So anything can change the day of. But I think you can, you know, save yourself as much trouble as possible beforehand by coming in with sort of a premeditated uh, set of ideas, such as, am I trying to, uh, you know, first of all, am I shooting close-ups, portraits, or full length, how dramatic or how subtle do I want this to be? What is the color story? Like all of these you can plan ahead of time. And then, you know, what model should I use that can help me uh, convey these emotions? Like, does he or she have a strong, stern face? You know, maybe a, a sad face. Um, all of these things you can plan for. And then during the shoot, sometimes all of these ideas can go out the window, but at least you kind of have the reassurance that if things go uh, in a very streamlined manner, that you have a really clear roadmap. And then you take it from there and post. <laughs> And then so from there, you talked about how you'll sit with the images that you have and look at them and kind of um, envision them further of how they can develop. So like, what is kind of that process like? Yeah, uh, that process, I think, uh, is definitely more experimental or intuitive than premeditated, for sure. And it's because... Um, uh, usually I get about one or two edits per set that are really, really, really final, you know? And the first one is the one that sparks first, and it's closer to maybe the uh, spirit of what the actual shoot was like. It's a little bit more real in that sense. Whereas the second image always comes after sitting for a while, and then I would look at it, and then I will try to imagine what would this look like if I added in artificial light and shadow? Does this change the mood? Um, if I add in other elements like more fabric, animals, or if I change specific components, components of her background, does this change who the character is? Um, what if I merged this picture with another picture? What happens there? And then there's a lot of that sort of trial and error and then when there is a clear story that comes out from that, then I can start fine tuning the details. But I think the key thing is whether I can envision that raw file in a new setting. Thanks so much for tuning in. We would love to hear your thoughts or questions. Please let us know in the comments and review section, and we'll try to cover it in the next sessions. If you enjoy this content, please share and subscribe for more episodes. For latest updates, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Art Focus Exchanges.